Yeah, the hawk to a girl launched a meme coin. That's just like a, a, a term they use, calling it a meme coin. It's really not. It's just always a scam coin. It's made for the sake of rugging her viewers within the first hour of its launch. And I feel like everyone in the world should have seen this coming. But somehow, still, they were able to make tens of thousands of dollars rugging idiots. My hawk meme coin is live! My and so, as you can see in the community note, 90% of the token supply has been sniped and being sold on the community. Buying this highly speculative hawk coin could result in loss. Just giving people a fair warning, which wasn't heated. So what ended up happening is, what everyone knew would happen, it got rugged instantly, pretty much, within the first two hours. So then, uh, Haley Welch's PR team made this post talking about the Hawkonomics, saying the team hasn't sold one token. Baloney. I'll, I'll, call, I'll call horseradish on that. We tried to stop snipers as best we could. Also, huge dirty barnacles on that claim, too. And then, once again, a community note. The team and insiders have actually been selling their tokens since launch. Majority have never purchased anything and have only sold the token they were given. Haley is lying and will likely have to talk to a judge about this. Community note, just dropping a fucking pun on it. Cold turkey like that. Might as well. But yep. We live in a world where Coffeezilla will now make a Hawk Tua video. That's why this tab's open here. I'm just waiting for him to drop the, uh, <laughs> the Hawk Tua video. I'm very excited for it. The idea behind goobers putting money into things like the Hawk Tua coin is they know it's going to rug, but they really think that they'll be the ones to capitalize off the rug, they'll pull out at the perfect time, completely oblivious to the fact that insiders are the ones that actually make the money, not the idiots that buy in thinking that somehow they're smarter than the scammer. Like, you're not in on the scam, you are just another one of the pawns on the board. You are just another little dime into the piggy bank. You'll never beat the rug. Imagine getting rugged by Hawk to a girl in the year of our Lord 2024. Again, <laughs> you absolutely fucking deserve it. it. Like, this is a scam where the only victims are the ones <laughs> that actually deserve it. You Like, this is a lesson that you needed to learn. And Haley Welch took you over her knee and disciplined you. And I know they're still not going to learn their lesson. They will once again just dump into the next fucking shitcoin from Pump.Fun. Why can't I find the graph again? Because it's like a beautiful rug graph. Like the most... Oh yeah, here. Someone even put it in a, as a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's just like the quintessential Solana rug graph. I know, man. It, people are actually begging to just be scammed over and over and over and over and over again. I guarantee if Jack Doherty went live on Twitter right now saying that he's doing another meme coin, people would buy in and he'd make another 20 grand off him. Easy. You see that the Rizzler got disrespected by Hawk to a girl? I know you're making, like, a meme off of the absurdity of, like, the names and the, and the shit, and, like, just the full culture around it. But you know what's crazy? is if Hawk to a girl did disrespect the Rizzler, it's the worst thing she could do for her career. She can blatantly scam these idiots on her Twitter. They're not gonna care. They'll still t tune in to talk to her for whatever reason. Ironically, I guess. But if, if there was the story about how she disrespected the Rizzler, they'd all just leave her. A Rizzler level event would be the worst thing that could happen to her. But she can run these pump and dump scams till the fucking cows come home, it won't affect her. The hawk to a fall off is crazy. No, what's crazy is that there isn't a hawk to a fall off. She just had Mark Cuban on her podcast. Yep. It's it's disgusting. Actual industry plant that is thriving in the biggest possible way and now just full goatsy scamming her fans. Actually dropping trouser, shitting on him, and it's not gonna matter. Coffeezilla is live with a hawk to a girl in a Twitter space. Oh, he's already on the case? Let's go, I had, I had his channel up earlier, waiting for when he'd hop in. 
there's no rug pulled. Not, and it's not done by us. Yes, snipers sniped it up to an insane market. No, cap no, it's and not dumped the it. sniper. That was not it's us. Not that was that. listen. You know that. Listen. No, no, no. I'm telling you the truth. And y'all made millions on fees from I, this little coffee. Thing. Listen to him. It wasn't them. Oh, I'm not, sure that's not, not you scheme. getting that, those fees, it's right? Who's scheme. making the money it's on the a, fees? It's Who's making millions of dollars on fees from this rug that's, pool? That's not a scheme. That's that's the pro. Who's that's the project fees? so we can la keep this thing going for 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 years. <laughs> that's, how do you think the hawk to a coin for years? Who makes the money? On I the love fees? that. Someone just made over a million dollars on fees. Who made it? First of all, the fees were there with meteor pools, and that goes to yes, the creator, right? Who's Which gonna, is who? Who, who who does that which, belong, who belong who that who does that belong to? That belongs to the project, right? Who's no, no, no. Project? God owns who it. The that, project? This is a well. The project is over here. Who Haley Welch, right? And and how much does Haley Welch own? Hey, this is Haley Welch's project. So and, she owns all of it. Zilla. Coffeezilla. Did she just make a million chill dollars chill on fees take on a rock? Do, do, you, do you know how do you know how how much it costs for lawyer fees uh, to create a foundation in the Cayman Islands to hire directors? You think this stuff pays for itself, right? We're, we've so we've y'all wanted to make the money on day one. I don't understand. I'm just asking. We're here every single day. Millions of dollars day one, fees from the day two, day three. This guy's really bad at avoiding questions. Run a project forever. He's not even slipping out of it super effectively. How and time and people that are on this project. Over here has around 18 people working working on this right now as we speak. This is not a small time type of of, of nothing. We we it's a, it is literally a nothing here and not just do it for one. It day. is actually a nothing. It's a hawk no, to a coin. Who made the money? You haven't answered the question. Who made the money? How much did Haley Welsh make of that million? One point eight million. Is it two? It's, it's a foundation that is running. Oh. How much okay. does she own of it? It's a foundation. She owns zero of the foundation. So y'all made the foundation. No, I, I don't own the foundation either. A foundation in Brother, the Cayman Islands. Brother, who profited? A, over a million dollars was just I'm made. I'm telling you, a foundation that pays people out. And by the way, CoffeeZilla, I'm not... It's just a, it, it, is it a force of nature? Who owns it? That have, that are <laughs> it's so simple. Because we didn't, we didn't pull a rug. I don't know what you're trying to say. It's no rug pull. Defamation, Doc, do, 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 do the math. Do the math. Defamation. You're it's like taking a shit and, and telling me there's no poop. Three percent. You're, 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 you're defaming our care. You're, you're, you're not, it's, are you not going to let talk? You just talk over me. You talk over no, me. I, I'm hearing bullshit. So why? No, why you're not. You're <laughs> <talking> <laughs> just denied. This. Hold on. I'll, I'll pull this up again real quick. You guys released three percent to the Meteora pool. Why you have seventeen percent of the token allocation unlocked day one, on from your strategic allocation? Are you guys insane? What do you guys think exactly is going to happen when your uh, insiders get sent their tokens? And by the way, who made the money from your? 17% pre-sale while you're giving a tiny piece of the pie to the public. Like, what the hell? This is the worst tokenomics I've ever seen, and it is a scam. It's not a scam. It is It is literally a scam. a scam. Actually a scam. You can say whatever you want about it. You can cry defamation. That's my opinion. It's a scam. Well, and I you... only do this for a living. I've only seen a million of these projects. This one's different, Coffee. It's you, Coffeezilla. Let's, let's, uh... <laughs> Track your Ooh, wallet. Turn it around. Nobody's here for this here project. For you. Where did the fees go? Where did the money for the pre-sale tokens go? Why I love the who pays you coffee. One so people could dump on Haley Welsh's fans. And how involved was she really? And how much? What, what just happened? They muted him. Uh, I just got muted. That must have been a glitch. Must have been a glitch. Yeah. So I mean, like we, we, uh, as mentioned, like we raised a seventeen percent strategic allocation that was done at a sixteen point six nine. Oh my god. Valuation. Um. You know, we tried to kind of keep that kind of premise here was that you know we we, we had the restriction like we, we you know we heard we heard the the um the uh, request for us to do this in a public manner and you know I think that we you know having consulted with like you were saying fucking like, nothing right now and you're saying it with a big the, lisp. The, I guess like the legal He's about to just start that, talking about know, dedicated kind of wham. Daily, um, and you know kind of mitigate any kind of consideration. This is nothing. Um, just answer the simple questions that coffee that is posing. Who owns it? Who made the money? The Americans um, that 
200 people participate. Um, a, a lot of people within the industry um, that were very supportive of the vision um, because I think that they-, they Why even listen to this bullshit if he muted coffee? Because he's got to unmute him at some board. point. You know, I think that- Coffee and um, uh, Connor eats know, pants are in here spamming kind of thumbs down. It's going to be like a little bit of a paradigm <laughs> shift. I mean, like, like I said, nothing that we've seen thus far with, uh, you know- uh, It's a hawk to a rug pull shit coin, man. Uh, in a sustainable manner. He's and yapping kind of about kind of nothing. Of longevity of an extended time frame, and we're just trying to, you know, like try something different, right? We, we were like, we were, like I said, we went, we went back to first principles and kind of tried. Uh, Did they answer any questions yet? No. Way that we think makes, <laughs> no. Makes sense, you know, by uh, we, we we kind of felt ultimately that that was probably the best representation um, of who were her true. Fans These are actual just filler kind of words of nothing. That, you know, actual like, nothing. Running this initiative that. You know, we, He's speaking we just <laughs> into the hands of the that's all that have been most supportive of, of her and like kind of really engaged. With her Holy, um, and I just, I just, you know, I just want everyone to, you know, be respectful. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, listen, this is, this is, uh, yes, something man. that means a lot. Go ahead, go ahead, Phase Banks. Appreciate it. Um, I just heard this guy blab about pretty much nothing. <laughs> repeat the same shit that he said the first time around. <laughs> you said something about Web 2 <laughs> in, in layman's terms that just basically means 90 percent 97 percent of all the tokens owned were were by related wallets friends of friends of friends of friends they were no, like no 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 that's not true it's not true yeah, it's, yes it is true you can see it you 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 can you can you can see it brother 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 yeah you're talking about you're talking about some fucking what did you say in the cayman islands it's it's what it's how you legally launch these types no, of actually, things it's a foundation but listen listen this isn't a bundled scam this is and prove that they were not sold by us. So the bubble map stuff was totally false. That's not. That's not what happened. Oh, so this is all a lie. Over here, maybe you can. You can. They're the trustworthy the, ones at the Hawkonomics. To these different wallets, and and clear up a lot of this. You know these allegations that are just false. Um. Yeah. I mean, like in terms of like. Oh you know, God! Not this guy. The different wallets and stuff like. That whoever guided you in this or whoever directed you to do this or gave you the advice to do this you should fire them immediately and um yeah yeah i just want to jump in here yeah um, i'm doing the best i can thank you phase <laughs> yeah, was that a looney tune sound clip what was that <laughs> yeah, ugly launch, cool. there's day two there's day three there's day bulletproof four. response bulletproof that's how you. That's how you handle it. Single day memeing. The key is to actually onboarding for real, for true fans. This might not be for. Sounded everybody. like Sandy Cheeks. It's not, it's not a big deal to us. We ain't going anywhere. Haley's not going anywhere. And the Hawk Tua meme is definitely not going anywhere. Yes, they were from the Deployer wallet, but they're put into wallets for her true fans to claim. They mm. were not sold. None of you have to unlock the true fan I just make that prestige very, level. Very, very clear. But listen, it's all love. I understand everybody around here is kind of used to the same thing. There's only one way to prove that this is not just like everything else, which is just not give up, right? And keep going and keep doing everything, you know, that you possibly can. Inspirational, right? to, inspirational. To keep, to keep pushing. And the He's only right. way that it's a rug or the only way that it's a scam is if you give up on it. And that's the one thing that we can say is no one's given up on this. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, over here, um, or, or if you want to ask Haley some questions, let's, let's like, you know, like ha Haley yeah. is somebody who's an incredible person and she, and she's had a lot of fun memeing. She really enjoys X. <laughs> I think like, I think we, we have to really stick with the facts what the fuck? Um, and we can show all the transactions, right? And we've had them analyzed now. We can show all the transactions. That's the thing is like the blockchain doesn't lie. And we will publish those transactions. You just said, you, you were literally person. just saying that it does sometimes when it makes you look bad. Yes, it got 90. Blockchain doesn't lie. It was 3%. Unless it's doing something bad for us. That was held back. No, I mean, I just wanted to be like, um, you know, obviously Haley's been through through a journey and like, you know, this, this launch has obviously gone the way it's gone. But um, yeah, I think that um, maybe it'd be helpful for, for the community to kind of hear um, you know Haley's story because ultimately you know, they're like, they're trying so hard to push it onto Haley right now. Guys, we need to think about Haley's feelings. Um, you know, we only told uh, her that she was going to make a ton of money from this. She didn't know it was going to be a rug pull. Launch, we, right, uh, Haley, take here, it from here. IP, We're going to leave. Like, everybody resonates with 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 Hawk Tour as a as a meme. It's like one of the most viral memes of all time. 
uh, and like you know like I think people have been making a lot of money of like derivative works and you know people have launched a bunch of fake tokens which is may, maybe the launch didn't go the smoothest um, but like uh, yeah, that's one way of putting it know, it didn't go the smoothest huh? showing up every day um, trying to trying to run the project I think Haley's Haley's here for the long term um, um, you know ultimately like her her career is, you know, like just just kind of starting, and you know, like um, you know, she's just she's accomplished a lot of amazing things in this short period of time, um, and you know, like obviously resonating, nice membership um, check. you know, really strongly with the with with a, with the global audience, um, and I think yeah, I, I think it'd just be useful for Kala if if um, you know, Haley was able to kind of share a little bit about that original story because it, I think it helps kind of paint the picture here a little bit of um how she has constantly tried to like you know build community and like use um I guess um what she's built um to kind of like engage the the broader community and be very inclusive and you know like she's done a lot of cool stuff around like charity and like you know i think she's like she really cares about dogs and stuff like that and i think it's really cool to what see, are you like, saying you know, what are you saying man to, um, what do in the world to, i guess cool with with what what she's been able to get into i went over to haley's house um, one time you know, and she let me in. She let me in the door. Invited me into her abode. Me, me. This this woman is an angel. Yeah, I don't know if, if Haley, that's something you're comfortable sharing with the community, or if you feel like it's a little bit too too sensitive, or or how you feel about that. But I definitely think that it's it's helpful for for the community to have that color. Yeah, guys, I'm just here to have fun. I don't really have a full head wrapped around this whole thing, but I'm figuring it out every day, and I'm here for the long term. My skin's getting thicker every day, and the hate's not going to stop me. I'm here every day trying to work on this and get better at it. But I'm not going anywhere. Hey, thanks for summing that up. I'm glad yeah, I lost yeah, all my money. <laughs> and now it's all good. Hey, um, you're having fun? Like, all right, that's what it's all about. Get tough, and, and this was a learning you can integrate in all these different things she's doing, including her podcast every Tuesday. I mean, <laughs> she literally... You know, was is, is talking about her meme token on on a on a really big podcast on a charting podcast, and and onboarding and talking about you know these memes, all different types of memes, all different memes that everybody holds. Now I'm just community. getting an advertisement uh, right now. Can I skip the ad? Bringing awareness to it, so it's like it sucks that everyone like wants to you know see it fail. It did fail. Are, it are, immediately are failed. Of it. Well, it yeah, didn't fail for you guys. I think, like, you guys made you know, out in week two, in week three. Found it. So, I mean, that's my belief. That's why we're doing it. We're doing something, you know, super innovative, in in, in my opinion. Innovative. Um, you know, with with the meme token. Dag Nabbit, he's uh, right. We've yeah, never right. seen something like this uh, before. Ahead, man. People they won't really unmute coffee. They refuse to unmute him. The reason for the I completely agree. I, I, I would urge you guys as well to share at least what you know now, because while people are here, you know, they really Yeah, no, for, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, like, I mean, it was, um, I don't, like, I haven't, you know, like, I mean, the bubble maps, I, I, I don't know why why it's showing like you know it's showing like 12 holders or whatever it is like but like you know we distributed um, hey way to explain it <laughs> i don't know why it's lying how many, uh, i'll have to investigate why it's lying i mean like i said sad you know, part is crypto like, bros probably think they're telling the truth i can called, promise you um, you uh, the team, I think even the, the most delusional um, you know, that will would look soon, at this um, once we out and listen to this with, um, the, and be like, uh, oh, my like Magna, and, uh, you know, oh my god. Oh my god, what have I done? Um investors, you know, like if they're not gonna bring coffee back, I'm just gonna leave. This is nothing. This is this is just actually nothing. This is this man talking in circles with a list. Haley did it, you know, her team little shady. I don't think they've done a good job of explaining this. But Haley, man, how can you even be mad at her at the end of the day, right? She said she's having fun. And that's all she said. And what else do you need at the end of the day, huh? You know what I mean? So yeah, you lost a lot of money. You got rugged. Fucking hawk to a spit on that thing. Am I fucking right? You go again. You buy the dip. So that way you heard investors can make some more too. Holy. Again, if you bought into this expecting to make money on it, you're a fucking idiot in the first place, to be fair. Putting money into a Hawk Tua coin. Christ. Hawk Tua coin was 100% unlocked on launch. That always will rug if you have people buying in with zero unlock. This team pre-sold tokens for millions and then are crying that they didn't sell and blame it. Oh, nice. I don't think there's anyone in the world that actually believes the developers here. Like, I don't even think the most delusional of like crypto bro would find 
anything that they said compelling. So I feel like this is one of the very few cases where people are like, oh, that was just a complete scam from the get-go. Which I feel like people should have been able to know immediately with the Hawk Tua girl making a fucking crypto. This is some Jack Doherty shit. It is. It is actual Jack Doherty shit. Except hers is somehow even more egregious. Oh yeah, I'm surprised they were even doing that call in the first place. Usually when it comes to a big rug like this, the people just vanish. Meanwhile, those two goofballs were somehow taking it in a Twitter space, pretending that it wasn't a scam. So, I mean, they talked about innovation that is an innovative new strategy to rug pulling. Usually they just disappear. I wonder if she even knows what crypto is. I can say with at least, at least 85% confidence, Haley Welch just learned what Solana was a week ago. After this space, when CoffeeZilla eventually got kicked from the Twitter space, he started his own to explain to everyone exactly how this rug pull worked. He explains it far better than I ever could, and it's actually a lot more intricate than I thought it was for a rug pull. There were more moving parts to it, and even more nefarious, scummy dog shit that was happening behind the scenes that CoffeeZilla highlights. So it's more than just like the simple pump.fun rug, rug pulls we've been seeing a lot, like with Jack Doherty. This was a full red alert DEFCON premeditated malicious rug pull that aimed to scam the shit out of people. Now, I do believe most of the victims here were basically just people that gamble on things like this, like meme and shit coins. I don't think a lot of like Hawk Tua enthusiasts, you know, all of a sudden set up a wallet to participate in the Hawk Tua coin. I imagine it's most people that were gambling on it. But even still, her scamming this many people and making this much money, her and the team, well, I guess I can't say her for sure because maybe she personally didn't make a ton of money, but a lot of people behind the scenes did. And CoffeeZilla explains how much and where things were going and how it all worked. Let me start with something really basic that most people need to understand about what they're doing, the, the little switch they're doing. They keep telling you guys, and everybody's falling for it, with this strategic advisor grift, okay? They put 3% into the public decks. Meanwhile, they sold, they pre-sold in these SAFs at like, I think they said a multi, like over $10 million valuation. I'll, I'll have to have somebody correct me on that. But over a $10 million valuation. So they pre-sold these tokens. Why do you think people bought these tokens? They knew that they could rug because they told people, well, there's no unlock. So if there's no unlock for pre-sold tokens and you think it's going to launch because you got this girl who's going to use her brand and use, use her popularity to all of a sudden pump up this coin, you have no, there's no unlock, you're going to dump into this. So two things happen at the same time. There's a lot of confusion about it, but two things happen. One, you have a sniper who jumped in at the very beginning, minutes after launch, because they tweeted out the contract address like idiots, like amateurs. Actually, the dot guy said they knew it was going to get sniped, which is crazy. I think that would be criminal if it's true. If you know your thing's going to get sniped and you launch it anyways, but whatever. So they get sniped. That guy walks out with millions of dollars. But then they put fees on top of that. They put a 15% fee on the decks. So guess who's raking in the money? Not Haley. I tried to ask Can't be Haley. Haley said our foundation made it in the Cayman Islands. We wanted to obey the law, so we left the United States. We went to the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Everyone knows that's how you obey the law. You go to the Cayman Islands. So they went to the Cayman Islands, and their 15% fee supposedly goes there. That's Where true. We did hear them say no that. Idea. So they made millions of dollars right off the jump, even before they didn't even quote. They knew it was going to snipe. This sniper made millions. They made millions. And then they pre-sold for millions. Okay? Everyone follow me so far? Then you have strategic advisors who are dumping on retail. And they're making millions. Who's making nothing? Well, it's everyone else. 